Okay guys, so I didn't really know how to organize this. Um, when we started off, Baby U actually has a small closet right here that uh, he had stacked full. And when I first looked in, it didn't seem like there would be any shoes. Um, but then once I pulled everything out, as you can see, uh, he has plenty of shoes. And definitely some interesting shoes that you can tell, like he has a very unique flavor for shoes. Um, some of them you are gonna recognize and some of them you probably won't because I know there's quite a few that I've probably never seen before or even remember because they're so old. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with your SBs that you have over here. So the pink box, um, he has some De La Soul Lowe's. So you know, I guess. I have the marker in here because I did a show with De La Soul and I was gonna get them to sign it. But then uh, I just got lazy and I said forget it. <laughs> brought it back to the car and I just didn't get it. <laughs> okay. Ooh. These I got in Taiwan when I was on tour. And where'd you get those from? I got this when I was on tour, a Canadian tour in Calgary at Goodfoot. Uh, they, they don't exist anymore, but uh, I remember when I was cool. get a whole outfit out there, so this is part of it. Now how do you normally pick your shoes? Like what, what, what do you think is your biggest thing you look for? Originality, uh, comfort, but something that stands out, I guess, and that's different. I like that. And that's why I think you'll notice that there's so many different styles. Okay, and um, we'll go ahead and start with your J's because I know a lot of people are interested oh, okay. in J's. So. Actually, these aren't, I have two um, back in Toronto at uh, my parents' house, the Cardinals and the True Blues. And I also have uh, Reebok Wiggletons. Just came out probably in the as well. Now, after I've been looking through your collection, I've noticed that you know you wear pretty much every shoe brand that's major. Um, are there any brands that you don't wear? Like a, like a hate or something? Yeah, <laughs> like like for me, I I really don't wear Adidas or anything like that. Is there anything that you won't wear? No, I don't. No, I, I have no hate in brands actually. I'm always open to new brands too. So, so you're just a genuine shoe lover? Yeah, I'm just a genuine shoe lover. Okay. And where'd you, what are those cool grades to you? These ones, um, I think this rebooted my whole, uh, because I was telling you before where I do have a lot of friends that are sneaker, like real sneakerheads. We're talking three to five hundred pairs. And, um, you know, they always got me interested in shoes. And I always loved shoes, but they got me more interested in it. And then at one point I just stopped because it's like, it's an expensive hobby. At the end of the day, we all know that. And um, I probably stopped for like, I can buy shoes. Consistently, or I need to look into shoes for like years. Maybe like one year, maybe. So I kind of stopped, you know. But this, when these came out, I kind of got back into it. I don't know why. <laughs> so that's why it means a lot. I don't know. It just, it just brought me back because... I remember um, uh, high school, I had, uh, I had uh, the light blue ones, the baby blue ones of this. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, I remember those were like And I did have the red body version of the Georgia Floors, I think it was. I think it was the Georgia Floors. It was threes or fours, I know. Mean, Grade six, and someone stole it. I don't know why. It was like I wore for the three bucks. I wish I still had them. And what about these? What are these to you? I, I know a lot of people out there were hunting down for these, and um, they weren't able to get them. So, um, I always wanted a pair of ones. I wasn't a big fan of one, really. Like, like ones and twos, I wasn't the biggest fan, but a fan of it. But I don't know. It was just this one caught my eye. And, Especially after you know DJ and passed away, and he came out. With, they came out with his like version. I really wanted to get those just to support, you know, because he's one of my favorite DJs. And you know, it's really hard to find those. And then these came out. These are close enough. You've seen the X's. It's always nice to have like the first one that ever came out. Well, it's not the OG, but you know, these ones I was on tour in Vancouver, brought in livestock. Okay. Uh, Deadstock.ca. Uh, Garrett. Big shout out to Garrett. 
Jerry. This guy's always taking care of one of those. Well, these are ones that are the ones that just came out, obviously. The Independence Day 5s? Yeah, 4th of July. Yeah. Who made you buy those? represent America <laughs> as a Canadian. <laughs> yeah, since, since you're, uh, guys, I just want you guys to know that he's actually a fugitive on the run because his Shit. visa has expired. <laughs> um, okay, here. Oh. These are, um, I wore these for the DJ Stylist Awards. What year was it? But I won the DJ of the Year for Canada and I know you got excited about these. <laughs> I, I did get excited when I saw those. I was really surprised. Even it is a retro, but it's a 1999 retro. Let's go ahead and show them what those are. Now, now, what are those to you? These, to me, I think I fell in love. I actually got these. Um, I didn't actually buy them in 1999, um, I was in Japan for my family reunion two years ago, and my cousins took me to a used store, a used shop, like a, I had everything used from like DVDs, clothes, shoes, electronics, like name it, it was a huge, like, it was a huge store, and uh, they had a section of shoes, and they had this, and it was like pretty much, like, I don't know if this condition, I know you're talking about this, it's kind of good. Rusty, the bubble is kind of whatever, but you ain't showing the back. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah. That's the real deal. <laughs> but yeah, it's just it caught my eye, and I and I just thought it was a good chance because where my family lives in Japan, it's like a small part, like summer. It's not Tokyo. Tokyo, like it's filled with people that like, love fashion and sneakers, so it's gonna be almost impossible to find like. Stuff too. Like, I mean, they have it, but it's gonna be overpriced, obviously. But I took the advantage of like, what I used to in a small town, like, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, like, pop my eye. Actually, these were the ones that got stolen out of my uh, garage. Okay. The baby blue ones. Those are like, But that's not my wish. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do. Okay. Color was sick. Now these were interesting to me because these blazers, the materials on them were sick. It's like fleece, and then the Letterman jacket, um, the letter, that material. And what were those for you? Fit right. I don't know why, but I love it because uh, the gator pattern. Laser printing right there. The laces. I've never seen laces. shoes for no reason whatsoever <laughs> it's like i think you people understand when you're a shoe collector sometimes you just feel like buying shoes and sometimes if you get reckless you just go into a store and just buy them and that was the laser print really did this for me i was on tour somewhere 